Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over functions, parameters, and arguments. Let's start with another function again. Let's say example, um, what if I wanted to multiply two values together? Okay, so I would say um, return three times six. Okay, and then up, I go up here and say, um, this is going to be an, I'm just going to say a number because I'm not sure if it's going to be a, an integer the whole time. Um, num e example equals ex print example. And that's the result, okay? But what if I want to be able to say, hey, wait a minute, I don't think it's always going to be three versus six. I think it's going to be something else. You can put parameters right inside of here okay so parameters would be for example um let's just say a and b okay these are just variables themselves so a and b and this would be return a times b so you could multiply these if i'm going to use parameters right here for the ex function then up here i'm going to have to use different arguments. Remember the argument goes inside of here. So I'm gonna have to give you give it some numbers. Two twenty-three eighty-eight. And then I'll put the example. You see? So what what it says is that twenty-three goes into the A position, because it's the first position, eighty-eight goes into the B position, it returns A times B. And you can print it right here. So if you can imagine, what if you had, and you can have, an, and I don't think there's a limit to how many parameters or arguments you have. You can have 5,000. So if you want to add 5,000 things together, you can do something like that. You can do A times B divided by 3 plus 92 you could do something like that so make it really complicated if you have a huge long equation that's really really long of course just monster long you might not want to print that again and again you do it once and you can call it anytime you want to okay so um, what if you have um, for example you you don't exactly have well, well let me back up what, what if there's another thing called optional parameter itself, okay? So an optional parameter would be something like um, you would put in brackets like this, okay? Optional parameter would be C, okay? So it means you could type it in here, or you, but you don't have to. So it would be return C, okay? It'll be null because there's nothing there. If you wanted to give it a default value, C equals 44. Okay, I put nothing here. The default value is 44. Now you can't have default values for these because these are required um, um, parameters, right? You have to have these. In brackets, you don't have to have it. So it says if you don't include it, it'll just automatically take this value that I assigned to it. So um, what, what, what else can we do? We can also always say if C equals null, return A times B, else return A times b divided by c. Excuse me. Having troubles here. We can always do something like this, but you have to put the colons here. Okay? So let's try this. Let's make it nice and simple so we know if the answers are correct. So if, if there is no c, there's a and b, return a times b so that should be 15 because c will be null right 15 but if i put a parameter 
another argument inside here, optional parameter. So this is going to be an argument. So I would put 3. So 3 times 5 divided by 3 equals 5. It'll give me 5. Okay? And that's that's the basics of how to use examples um, of arguments and parameters. But that's not enough, right? Because remember, we're always trying to do um, static typing. So what do I do here? So I already did this. This is a function. I put num, okay, right here. In front of each of these variables right here, why don't I start statically typing them as well? So I'm going to say int for that one. That would be int as well. This would be int as well, right? Um, oops, wait, wait, wait. Bracket int. In C, right there as well. So, so if I try to put here something like true, Dart editor will help me out and say, "Wait a minute, wait, what's going on? Bool cannot be assigned to parameter type int." Oops, I made a mistake, and I can go ahead and fix that. So, by by having all of these as much as you possibly can, you don't have to. Notice you don't have to, because Dart, Dart is optionally type. But to have the Dart editor help you as much as possible along the way, always try to statically type everything can be a little annoying at first, but it's probably all for the best. It'll help you for reading the code, and, and it'll help the Dart editor help you in the future. Okay? Hope that was clear. Um, we'll keep moving on from here on. Thank you very much.